pull off here, show you what these are like. This is just pretty much any one of these little pull offs. This is exactly big Zactamundo. Why I came to Colorado to ride through stuff like this. Yeah, we can go down there. I've been down here before. There's nothing down here but seclusion. Which is kind of nice sometimes. But these always get taken pretty quick in, a, in season for camping. I mean, I guess your best best come down here during the week. Because weekends, I mean, it's first come, first serve. <laughs> but yeah, these are the kind of trails that I came out here to ride. So I got this, put these off road tires on here. Across that big ass rut. Oh, isn't that cute? Fucking dickheads. Yeah. There she is. And, uh, ain't really done much to it. I ain't got the uh, sticker set Moto Pro Works. Real good quality, real thick. Goes on pretty nice. I'm sure, it'll come off. Probably a pain in the butt to get it off because the adhesive's so good, but it's so thick of a vinyl that I'm really, real satisfied with it. Got the wings exhaust on there. The first round, I went with a GPR Pro. The GPR, is that what it's called? But, uh, I like the wings because it comes with uh, two two uh, baffles that include the uh, spark arrester, which is crucial when you're out here. You want to be starting to force fires. And then uh, these Pirelli Scorpion Rally STRs, I really like them. I mean, they're on the the spark pillin. Put them on there. Um, pretty good, pretty good traction. They, I mean, no no complaints really. Uh, they, uh, you know, they're probably more of a, an 80-20, you know, street, maybe, maybe 70, 30, definitely not a 50-50, um, I mean, it helps a little bit, I can get a little bit of bite in the front tire, but, I oh mean, it's still kind of hard getting traction, these kind of roads, it's fine, no issues whatsoever, but, um, got the skid plate there, I like that guy. Uh, just replaced these a little more durable because I got an RCS 15 so took a spill uh, one year after having the bike you know kind of scraped up the the stock uh, brush guard uh, hand guard and then uh then the, my master cylinder went out took it in and they warrantied it surprisingly I mean it was obvious I crashed but I guess it's supposed to take a little beating and it didn't so they replaced it and took like six eight months to get it so I was like heck no I ain't losing a season so I went out and grabbed a RCS 15 this thing's been pretty nice uh, what else here that's really about it um, but The fender eliminator kit and a nice little tidy tail light. It's pretty slick. Um, got some mirrors on order. I finally found that I'm gonna like. I've been trying these bar in mirrors and they just don't work. I mean, they do not. I don't. I got no room to move my clutch around. I like where it's at. I would have to like move this and this over. And this is too like. It's not gonna move over. 
so I gotta put a fucking mount right here and this is where it starts getting fat so the barring mirrors just they never meet up and this is in the way for where they where the little stem goes and it just doesn't work man so Europeans man they're gatekeeping on these bikes they keep all the cool parts over there they don't have distributors in the United States or Amazon can't get the cool shit so I finally found it it's on a website in Italy so I'm gonna order or uh, order those Hopefully they come within the next two weeks. Put out some dope supermoto mirrors. Because doing bar ends, it just doesn't work. One year I tried to do a like a mountain bike mirror. It goes on a handlebar and it straps there, but it wiggles so much and it's so small. It's useless. It, like for road, you can't. It ain't worth a damn. You can't do nothing with it. So hopefully get those new mirrors in and I'll take this one off. You know, I got, I got a mount for the for the uh, right side because that's included in the stock master cylinder, which I got sitting on brand new, sitting in my shelf, my garage, a little a little backup in case this guy ever has problems, which I don't think it will. Knock on wood, because I mean Brembo's real good. McGurr ain't bad either, but between the two, I'm going Brembo all day. Get around here. Wow. That's snow up here. <laughs> That's crazy. Man, how cold it stays in the shadows. And I'm still working on my off-road. I'm not that good on body position and really it takes a couple rides back to back to back a couple weekends of doing both Saturday and Sunday getting a season riding shape otherwise it can be a little like I'm gonna be sore as shit tomorrow that's okay that was worth it here a couple weekends in a row and I'll be ready to go for this year. Heat it up every nice day. I just need to get rain gear so rain in the forecast doesn't deter me from having fun. Like last year it rained 30 days in a row, something crazy like that. Not a fun summer. out the file, export a file and quite honestly I, I'm not motivated to do it because trying to sync up audio with video separate files is a fucking pain in the ass and you sit there and you spend and you got like a little 10 minute clip and you're just trying to line up find out all right which one of these on my my log files is this three four five where where is this okay and you finally figure out what file to use. If you're just inching microseconds forward and backwards trying to get everything lined up right. So, it, man, it's a pain in the ass. So, I stopped doing that. I mean, it's, that's professional quality style. You get the best results, but fuck that, man. Just 
trying to be a hobby, not a job. spot now when this gets graded over like like you know a few miles back through here it's a lot of fun to tear it up but you gotta be real careful because like those little bikers that popped out at me you get that kids camping out here you gotta know where the spots are you know where they're gonna be roaming around the main roads and then uh you also get kids running too fast in their suits out here doing rally shit. I'm gonna run off the road by them assholes. They're going 50 fucking 60 miles an hour on this thing. But you can only really do that after it gets graded. Tear your shit up. It's a lot of fun though. But, uh, actually, let's step back. I haven't seen anybody rally on Hermit Pass. There's a Rampart Range here doing that. Take care of that a little bit more. Just have a little more heavily traffic. Uh, I'm gonna do more, more grading passes throughout the season. This one probably gets graded once. One and done. So they'll come through here, I'd say sometime this month. We might wait till the end of the month or June, but they'll, they'll come by once, drop fresh gravel. enough but wow yeah that looks good let's see here This is the spot. Just get little views like that in the cut. I don't want to go off the trail too much over there. I already feel off trail right there. That's like a makeshift spot. I don't think it's supposed to be right there. Get up and out of here a little bit. What's up, homie? This is the view. All right. Now we're talking. Man, this is nice. 